Welcome back and thank you for joining me for another reaction video. You know the drill. If you're new, smash that subscribe button. Make sure you don't miss out on any of the daily reactions that I'm putting out. Uh, today we're going to do something a little different. Uh, there's a lot of requests coming in for more Nightwish and Baby Metal and I promise you they're around the corner. I'm going to get to them all and I've got them in the plan. But this channel is also about opening up my mind to new music and new artists. And I got a request in to look at a band called Sleep Token and a song called Calcutta. Now I don't know anything about them. Um, so just before I set up for this recording, I hopped onto Google. First link was Wikipedia, so I'm not sure how reliable that is. But this is really interesting. Background says, the members of Sleep Token are a masked anonymous collective of musicians said to be united in their worship of the ancient deity identified as Sleep, who appeared in the band's lead singer Vessel in a dream. So I have no idea what that's about, but it was super interesting and I thought, well, let's give it a listen. I don't even know what genre this is. Um, there's not a whole lot of information on there other than they had to cancel the, um, I think it was NotFest tour of 2020 due to the circumstances that are ongoing. So let's give them a listen. That's creepy. Visually, this is beautiful. Um, it's kind of creepy. I watch a lot of horror films and it's it resembles loads of iconic scenes that I've seen in the past. Um, that drone to set almost the melody or provide the key for that that uh, for the song to start out is, it's really cool because it's super simplified, super stripped back. There's not much to it. And then it also provides like a percussion so that you understand where the bar starts and ends. Um, his voice is super haunting. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this. That's a really, really nice melody. It's super easy going, super easy to listen to. I don't know where it's going next. It's seven minutes, so there's gotta be there's gotta be more to it, but it's beautiful. It's really nice. Really nice harmonies there. And they're both quite high register, so a little bit tougher to do. One thing that is um, not missing but yet to come in is there is very little bass or low end to the, either the instrumentation, the vocal, uh, the harmonies. It seems like they're pulling that back and bass is obviously something that provides you with power. So. I wonder if they're going to use that as like a break to punch into like a different thing or a chorus or something like that. Um, but it is noticeably gone. It's obviously deliberate, but it's, it's, it's interesting. There's like a, like a Morse Cody kind of, I don't want to say bass piece, but as I'm talking about it, my ears like picking up little things, but there's this like Morse Cody bit right in the back, just behind the vocals and the and the and the instrumentation. That I don't know if it seems to be getting louder, or if I'm just hearing it now, but it's it's all part of this like very dramatic build up, which I'm loving. I really love this. There you go. For just a moment till the morning. 
and super interesting that the the kicks come in um just to kind of add another element of that build up but they're using almost like a clap versus a traditional snare and why wouldn't they everything else they've done is unique so far so um his his vocals these are the kind of vocals i love in a band i'm super i, I don't know why i've never heard of them but this is beautiful really loving this so far So interesting they brought in what was like a more fullness to the sound with the bass and then his higher octaves that he was singing um the harmonies everything like that now they've stripped it back to that kind of ping on the keys it sounds like it's on the keys i'm not really sure what instruments producing that but um and then his vocals they've pushed the mids up so it sounds like it's in a tube almost like he's singing like that um there's just so much going on and so much detail being added and removed and changed it's really smart. Oh, wow. The videos bizarre it's it's creepy it makes me uncomfortable which is the point of it it is cool um and i'm not I, I just think there's this massive contrast between what's happening visually and what's happening musically musically is beautiful it's um intricate it's 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 lovely it's clean and then the video is like dirty and grungy and scary um and i think i hope that that's what they're going for because that's what i'm picking up from it but I love what the drummer's doing there because he's come in with a traditional snare and a traditional sounding drum kit. And although it's still following a 4-4 a four four in terms of the way he's singing, the way that the bars are looping and repeating, he's doing such syncopated runs and, and, and inconsistent ones at that. So it keeps changing and it keeps, it makes you focus on the drums a little bit more, which you should be doing during this part of the song, but it's really pretty and just like quite nice and technical. That's pretty. This is so cool. There's like this um, behind the distorted guitar runs and the the chords that they're playing. There's this da na 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 da na 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 da na na na, which is really cool because it's just like another layer, and you can hear it. It's not like it's trying to be hidden or anything. It's definitely there, but it almost replaces his vocals as something to follow along on top of the guitar, which is kind of cool. Guy's got some of the dirtiest but also nicest teeth. Now 
Now you've got the two vocal melodies and rhythms playing under each other, completely separate, but they seem to back each other up quite well at certain parts when they link. Oh wow. This is a complete shift to anything that's happened in the song so far. You've got this like much more overdriven, much more dominant guitar um, riff being played with the drummer matching it in a kind of spot on, which is pretty cool. But then you've got this like this lead long lead p guitar pieces that are running in the background, but they it seems like they you know the the bend on them is kind of just sitting on the edge of where it's going to start to go out of tune and it's very dissonant and um they've got quite a lot of effects on so it's it seems in a good way it's supposed i think it feels like a little uncomfortable but it makes it draws your ear to it which is really nice this is a complete shift to what they're doing Cool. It's like vocals as well. There's just like a choiry kind of effect, which is very nice. Weird time signature too. They just pulled the tops out of it completely now. Higher frequencies just dipping, dipping, dipping. The masks that the head things that they were in remind me of the opening scene in Sinister. I don't know if you've seen that movie, but creepy. That was bizarre visually, musically as well. Um, I loved it. I think that's it. That was um, that's strange. Something really cool at the end there. I've never heard people. I've never heard a, a group drop. Uh, a song off in terms of like a long fade but also then take a certain part of the frequency out so like for that it could be anything over i don't know 2k and then it starts that that spectrum starts getting bigger and bigger and bigger a uh, super interesting it's like it almost makes you lean forward so try and hear it more hear it more hear it more like you don't want it to go away um amazing amazing song super impressed and super surprised by that i didn't expect to this i don't know what i expected um it just shows you that you've got to open your mind up to new music and see what else is out there because that was really 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 good um now i'm super inspired to go and listen to the rest of their stuff and see what else they've got out there um metal and rocky in some way uh, jazzy in some way bluesy in some way poppy in some way it's a very strange mix but it really does work visually. I loved what they were doing in terms of the quality and the like disjointed, uncomfortable images they were showing. I'm not sure what the theme is around that, but um, it found like the, it sounded like the music started to match the visuals in the end. In the beginning, there was a stark contrast between the visuals being dirty and grungy and the music being really clean, and the music got a little bit more edgy and dirty and uncomfortable, as did the the visuals. So that was very cool. Pleasantly surprised by Sleep Token. Really love them. Great song. Um, if you have any other recommendations by them or anyone else, please pop them in the comments below. Again, I appreciate all your time and support. It does mean the world to me. Um, until the next one, be safe, be nice to each other. Have a good day. You are